If you've been considering buying a printer that offers a white ink option, then consider these things before plugging in that cartridge. What exactly is white ink? First, let's talk about what makes white ink different from other colors. The specific formulation can vary depending on the type of ink, eco-solvent, UV, latex, etc. But white ink has some characteristics that set it apart from traditional CMYK colors. White ink for wide format printing is typically made up of a combination of pigments, resins, binders, solvents, or water in the case of latex inks, and some other additives, all which help ink flow and cure. What makes white ink different is the pigment, which is usually titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide is a bright opaque white pigment known for its excellent covering power. This pigment is dense and can settle easily, leading to issues if not properly maintained. Why does white ink require more maintenance? Number one, pigment settling. Titanium dioxide is a heavy pigment, and it has a tendency to settle out of the ink solution. If not regularly agitated, the pigment can accumulate at the bottom of the ink tank or cartridge, leading to inconsistent printing or clogging of the printheads. Number two, clogging. The density and opacity of white ink means it is more likely to clog the fine nozzles of printheads, especially if the ink is allowed to sit unused for even short periods. This can also lead to frequent printhead cleaning cycles, wasting ink, and increasing maintenance requirements. Number three, viscosity and flow issues. White ink is often more viscous than other colors due to the high pigment load, which can cause flow issues. Ensuring the ink remains at the correct viscosity is crucial for consistent performance, often requiring more frequent maintenance and adjustments. Keeping the room at consistent temperature and agitating the cartridge on a regular basis are a couple of ways to help the maintaining of proper viscosity. Number four, ink circulation systems. Some printers designed for white ink require an ink circulation system to keep the white pigment in suspension. This system needs to be maintained properly to prevent issues like pigment settling, but it also adds complexity to the printer's maintenance routine. Some printers like the HP 700 series and other HP models have a built-in agitator when not printing white to help keep the ink suspended. Number five, increase wear and tear. The abrasive nature of titanium dioxide can cause more wear on the printheads and other components of the printer. This can lead to a shorter lifespan for these parts, requiring more frequent replacement or repair. Number six, white ink cost. Some EcoSol ink delivery systems allow you to insert a cleaning cartridge in the white ink slot until you have a job that requires white ink. Although this is a viable option, you will need to consider the cost of ink to fill the lines and then empty them when finished printing, flushing all that white ink into the waste tank each time you want to print white. The cost of white ink is typically 26% higher than standard CMYK pigments, so you'll need to keep that in mind when pricing your project. Not all EcoSol printers allow for the swap of a white cartridge, so to be sure to check with your manufacturer to see if that's even a possibility. In conclusion, if white ink is a necessity for your customers, then you may want to look at a UV printer over an EcoSol printer, as the UV machines typically have a more robust white ink circulation system. The bottle or cartridge will still require agitating. The unique properties of white ink, particularly its heavy pigment and higher viscosity, necessitate more rigorous maintenance to prevent issues like clogging, settling, and inconsistent print quality. Regular use of the maintenance routine, such as agitation, cleaning cycles, and circulation, is essential to ensure the longevity and reliability of wide format printers using white ink. In all my years selling EcoSol printers that offered white ink as an option, I would say approximately 95% of the customers that decided to go with white ink plugged in a cleaning cartridge in less than three months, or at least by the time the first white ink cartridge ran out from cleaning cycles and needed to be replaced without using it. I think if white ink is a must, then you should consider a UV printer. Either way, I can't stress this enough, you have to make sure you maintain it the manufacturer's specs, or it will be costly. As always, thanks for watching. Please give this a like if you found value, and consider subscribing so you'll know when additional content is released. And if you know someone considering a white ink option, be sure to share this video with them.